Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on the Pluto retrograde. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. If you want a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So, very excited to be doing your tarot card reading. We're going to be looking at what the Pluto retrograde is going to be bringing into your world on the 29th of April 2022. How is it going to be transforming your world? Pluto is all about, um, you know, secrets. It's connected to Scorpio in itself. So, uh, very interesting to see what sort of energies come out in this reading. There might be an extended, depending on what energies show up. So if you're interested in that, you can check out the link in the description box below. So let's see. I feel like there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be illuminated in your world, Scorpio. This could be epiphanies. This could be an energy which is pointing in the direction of success. Uh, perhaps, you know, you developing self-confidence. Uh, this feels like the kind of energy where you are going after what you want or whatever it is that you need, right? So let's get another energy. Yeah, there's an innocence here about this particular card. I feel like it's connected to your family life or to, um, you know, what you're building up. For some of you, it could be a business. For others, it could be a family structure. This is all about legacy. So those energies are being emphasized right in the beginning. Some of you are involved with a particular person or a particular situation. This could be you, um, you know, commanding power over your life, having the ability to change your life. It feels like that. So very interesting that these few cards have come out already. Some of you could be dealing with an individual that you're interested in having a long-term connection with or long-term commitment with. I feel like, you know, it literally could also mean you stepping into your power as well. So let's see what is going to be transforming in your world as a result of these energies. I will clarify in a moment. Okay, some sort of conflict you've been dealing with. We have two cards that have fallen out in reverse position. So I'm going to accept it in reverse position. Right. There's some type of disagreement, some type of conflict that is, you know, going to change in your world. It feels like that. There's an element of a secret that could be coming out. I feel like this is an energy which is indicating, you know, having to be extra cautious. It feels like that. Get some clarity. There's some type of an illusion that may come to an end as a result of the discovery of this. Uh, some of you may find out something. Yeah, it's connected to you. We have the Queen of Cups. We also have choices. I feel like you might be in a position where you have to make a choice. I'm getting the impression here that in this particular situation, there is someone that you've considered as a potential love interest or some situation that you've considered as a potential opportunity. I feel like these energies are indicating many possibilities. I'm going to start with the first one. This combination is really interesting to me because it you know, talks about someone that has been attentive, someone that has been very focused, someone that has been uh, very, you know, um, considerate, but it feels like it's a different type of energy. I'm getting the impression here of um, one individual or some situation in your life where there's a lot of talk, but there isn't much action. I'm getting that sort of impression here. I feel like this could be related to love because we have that card with the Knight of Cups and that gives me the impression that there's a love interest you have that you want to see go further 
but it feels as if there's a lot of talking, but there's not a lot of doing. And the Pluto retrograde may bring something of that nature to light, right? I feel like that. You might be dealing with an individual that you're really smitten with, someone that you really care about, somebody that you really want to be in a connection with. And you may feel as if this person wants the same thing, but they're not really doing as much as they could to make that happen. The next set of energies are indicating to me um, there's some sort of illusion that you've had. There's some sort of thing about a certain person in your, in your world where you think you have them figured out, but every time they come along with some different thing to say or some different thing to do. So you can't really pin this person down. But during the Pluto retrograde, you may be able to discover certain things of this individual that will help you uh, figure out, you know, well, why is this person not really taking action? Why is this person not really doing that? It feels like you want movement. It feels like you want things to gain traction. But I feel like there's some sort of like a hang up here with this specific individual situation. You may be the one that starts a fight or an argument as a result of that. Because I feel like you're wanting to see results. But there might be a lack of effort on the part of the individual that you're dealing with. Right. Yeah. So... There's a lot of transparency and then there's a lack of transparency. There's an energy of which there's something that is going on on the inside, either for you or for this individual concern. It feels like it's epiphanies and aha moments and it's opportunities for success in a certain aspect. But then I feel like that element gets sheltered. You know, it doesn't have an opportunity to fully blossom. Yeah, there's something about your marriage life or commitment or the possibility of it that's going to be very important during the Pluto retrograde. So family life is going to be very, very important. Yeah, and I'm also picking up a lot of, um, you know, fiery energies that are coming into play. A lot of that. Some of the prominent energies here that I'm seeing is uh, fire energy, Virgo energy. I see water energy and uh, I see Gemini as well. So very interesting. I feel like for some of you, there's an ongoing struggle that you've been dealing with in this situation with this individual, with this uh, set of circumstances, but it's something that goes above your head. It's like, uh, you know, the kind of action that's being taken isn't the kind of action that is useful or that can be utilized in the way that you want it to be. It feels like it doesn't go to where it could get in this set of circumstances. So I am getting the impression with the Five of Wands and the Queen of Cups together that um, uh, there's an element of hostility that could come up from inside of you and I feel like it could be towards the person or situation that you're dealing with. I feel like for a lot of you, your third eye is going to be uh, magnified during that period of time and you're going to feel connected to your emotions in a powerful way and if you look at this particular card it's very interesting how these uh, strings they connect to her middle finger so I feel like the energies are indicating it's sort of hidden but when it comes to certain people or certain individuals or situations you might be reaching that point of uh, feeling, uh, you know, a sense of anger, right? It might be that you reach that element where you, you can't hold it back. It feels like that. Especially if you're wanting results and you're wanting change and you're not seeing that. So I feel like, you know, there might be tempers flaring. There might be um, the need to get things out from inside of you. You might feel like you have to vent. You may feel as if, you know, you can't hold it back. And uh, during this period of time, in the lead up to the Pluto retrograde, it might be necessary for you to ask yourself, you know, how can you handle your emotions in a better way? You know, what are the triggers there that might cause you to feel a certain way? Uh, because you don't want anyone to get under your skin at the end of the day, right? So, yeah. What I'm going to explore in the extended is what potential conflict could arise here in this situation. What is it that you may realize of this individual? I'm also going to be looking at, um, you know, why is it 
that there's certain action being taken on someone's part, but it's not the kind of action that is getting you to where you want to be in the set of circumstances. What can you better utilize here in the situation to move things forward in the way that you need them to go? So I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.